I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Bahrain to present a statement by introduce an address by the head of state rather. Sayyid Rais. Mr. President, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to introduce a pre recorded statement by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, the King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. May God protect him. In the 75th session of the General Assembly. Bismillah ar Rahman. In the name of Allah, the Merciful, the Compassionate, may the peace, mercy, and blessings of God be upon you. Mr. President, allow me at the outset to congratulate you on your election as President of the General Assembly in its current session. We wish you success in the fulfillment of its mandate. Allow me also to thank the President of the previous session for his efforts in so ably and efficiently conducting its work. It is with great pleasure that we join you in celebrating the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. Over the past decades, the United Nations has promoted international cooperation and maintained world peace for the benefit of all mankind. Mr. President, allow me to seize this opportunity to commend the tireless efforts of His Excellency, Mr. Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations, in strengthening the role of the organization, namely to settle disputes and propose solutions and initiatives to reach a global order based on the promotion and protection of human rights and the achievement of the highest levels of equal development with the full participation of all member states. Mr. President, the Kingdom of Bahrain stresses its respect of its international obligations, namely to maintain a strong and stable international order. We will continue to play our role in achieving peace in the world. We share the United Nations fair vision, which underlines the need for effective collective action to overcome all challenges and threats. mainly the tremendous developmental and humanitarian difficulties and repercussions the world is experiencing due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This emerging challenge has proven that the international community desperately needs to put aside differences and promote human solidarity. We need to stand united in the face of these health threats and we need to improve our preparedness to avert such risks and build resilient societies. Mr. President, we commend the call of the UN Secretary General for a ceasefire in all conflict areas to fight the pandemic, a call widely accepted around the world.
Since the beginning of the pandemic, the Kingdom of Bahrain cooperated, coordinated, and stood in solidarity with all countries and specialized agencies, such as the World Health Organization, in the face of such difficult circumstances. We established a national working group headed by our Crown Prince to develop and implement an integrated emergency plan. This plan includes many national measures which are in line with best practices in terms of prevention and remediation. The national plan focuses, first and foremost, on preserving the health and safety of our citizens and residents alike. We have taken into account the urgent need to mitigate economic and social impacts. We are tirelessly working to diversify our supporting programs to safeguard the prosperity and stability of our people and ensure the speedy recovery of our national economy. Mr. President, we attach great importance to the security and stability of the region. As a result of our resolute approach to ensure openness and coexistence with all, we announce the establishment of relations with the State of Israel, thus sending a civilized message affirming that our hand is extended to ensure a just and comprehensive peace. This peace is the best guarantee for the future of all peoples of the region. The courageous step of the brotherly United Arab Emirates to rekindle hope in achieving peace and stability in the region is a successful and commendable step. In reaching a historic peace agreement with Israel under the auspices of the United States of America, in exchange for stopping Israel's annexation of the Palestinian lands, the UAE promoted the chance for peace, reduced tensions, and opened a new page for the people of the region. A page of understanding, rapprochement, and peaceful coexistence. It also preserved, so the UAE also preserved its firm position on the Palestinian cause. We further commend the excellent efforts by the United States of America in taking such important strategic steps. Mr. President, the Kingdom of Bahrain calls for intensified efforts to end the Israeli-Palestinian conflict in accordance with the two-state solution. The two-state solution is a cornerstone for achieving a just and comprehensive peace. It should lead to the establishment of an independent Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as a capital, based on the resolutions of international legitimacy and the Arab Peace Initiative. This would usher in a new era of cooperation and good neighborliness to build and promote common interests in the countries of the region. Mr. President, allow me to seize this opportunity to express our deep appreciation for the pioneering role and hard work of the Brotherly Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by our brother, the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. Not only did Saudi Arabia lay the foundations for security and peace in the region and the world as a whole, while taking into account the interests of all parties, but it also made remarkable and influential efforts as it presided over the G20 to draft a new decade 
which meets the aspirations and hopes of all peoples in prosperity and stability. We stress that the Kingdom of Bahrain stands by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, our big, our big brother, in all its positions at all times. We also express full support for the continuous efforts of the brotherly Arab Republic of Egypt to consolidate regional security and stability. We fully support its genuine endeavors to achieve peace, latest among which the initiative by our brother, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, which gave hope to the brotherly Libyan people to stand against foreign interference. This initiative contributed to rebuilding the capacities of the countries in the region based on Egypt's pioneering role in protecting and maintaining Arab national security. Mr. President, distinguished delegates, the success and prosperity of societies are based on their security and stability. This is what the Kingdom of Bahrain lives by. As an active member in the international scene, the Kingdom of Bahrain stresses the need for accelerating efforts to achieve human prosperity. This requires promoting solidarity and consensus under the umbrella of global goals. We ourselves have committed to these goals since the establishment of this noble organization. Today, we celebrate the anniversary of our organization and we wish it a new start at this crucial moment in our contemporary history. Mr. President, we are proud of the part we play and we are committed to providing support to the United Nations to reach our desired objectives meet the legitimate aspirations of people and restore trust and love so as to ensure a more stable, peaceful and secure world. Thank you, Mr. President, and may the peace, mercy and blessings of God be upon you. In nombre de la Asamblea General, deseo dar las gracias al Rey of the General Assembly, I wish to thank the Speaker from the Kingdom of Bahrain for the statement he has just issued.